guys, welcome to all the trainings. I'm Gregory. Today, a quick video showing the turning process of the VCO here. I have the design working here. I made this design here that did not work. So I'm in now trying to make this design here work and this design seems to work. But what's important here, guys, that I want to show you is the process I'm using. So we have here we have here the VCO and we need to turn it to 3.33 gigahertz. But I don't have any equipment here on the lab that can directly measure frequencies up to 3.33 gigahertz. Uh, my spectral analyzer goes up to 3 gigahertz. Uh, ah, we could use the oscilloscope that goes to four up to 4 gigahertz, but it's not a, 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 a good way a good way to measure frequencies using time domain. So uh, this spectral analyzer goes up to 3 gigahertz. So what, what I'm really doing here is using a signal generator, uh, generating a 3 gigahertz signal that is exciting a mixer, the LO of a mixer, and we are down converting the signal of the VCO and looking it down converted here on the spectral analyzer. So we can see that now the VCO is running uh, below 3 GHz because if I increase the frequency of the VCO, the frequency here will go down. Okay? So because the sideband we are down converting. When the voltage here of the varactor goes up and the signal crosses 3 GHz, it will start to go up in frequency because now we are down converting the other sideband. And we need to turn the, the bandpass filter of the VCO. So this is the bandpass filter, it's an interdigital design. And I'm now reducing the middle finger to increase the frequency because I want I want to have uh, 3.33 gigahertz when the VCO is turned for 2.5 volts. Okay, because this is half the power supply of the CMOS logic that will run the PLL. So uh, it's, it's, it's good, it's, it will be better for the circuit to have the middle power supply uh, close to the correct frequency. So the PLL can make small uh, adjusts to control the frequency. So I need to cut, I'm cutting the, um, the middle finger to increase a little the frequency. Actually, we need to increase the frequency uh, here. We are 77 megahertz below 3 gigahertz and we need to go to 3.33. So we need to increase the frequency almost uh, 400 megahertz. Actually, exactly 400 megahertz. So I'm cutting the middle finger. And I'm using the directional coupler to monitor the power using the power meter. Okay, so uh, the output of the coupler is uh, negative 3 dBm now. And you can see that when the frequency goes up, okay, let's increase the frequency. You can see the power here on the power meter going up. Yeah. Why the power is going up when we increase the frequency and why the power is going down when we decrease the frequency? Well, guys, this is happening because here on the design, let's take a look here. Mm, now we can see it better. Here in the design, we have a bandpass filter between the oscillator and the output amplifier. So when the frequency starts to enter the bandpass region of the filter, the amplitude increases, okay? And when we decrease the frequency, it goes out of the band of the filter because this filter here is turned for 3.33 gigahertz. When the frequency goes up, it enters the band and more power leaves the filter and the module. This is why we have more power, we can see there, when we increase the frequency. You can see that I, 
I also made here this mode here where you can see the bar strip if you are tuning the filter it's very easy to see the power using the the bar strip nice so guys I will continue the process here cutting the trace here and after all I will be cleaning the the board I discovered a product that cleans the board very well I will show you in the next video here we can see the design the design that did not work uh, this band pass filter here was a mistake I made it uh, with a very um, uh, uh, a lot of distance here so coupling was very low and the phase here was uh, more than needed to make it oscillate so now you can see that in this design we have higher coupling and the phase shifting here in these small pieces here is lower than in this resonator here uh, the design is almost the same here we can see the bandpass filter I use it uh, high impedance couplers so the quarter wave couplers here uh, have a uh, higher impedance than in this design this will increase a little the bandwidth of the filter and will uh, reduce a little the power loss so this design here has little less power loss than this filter here in the old design and this is a printed capacitor it helps to filter the the, the supply here it, it has very high uh, capacitance in the three point in the three gigahertz band so we, we can say that this line here is a printed capacitor and for the other parts I think is the same design but better smaller and working okay I also have here the board of the PLL that I need to assemble okay uh, another module and the project is going okay I think I think it's gonna work in the end okay guys thank you for watching and I see you in the next video of all the journeys